Oh, oh boy. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the world of Dishonored. This is the new DLC, The Knife of Dunwall. In this one, you play as Dowd, who, if you remember from the last game, was the assassin who killed the Empress. And so, as Corvo, you are basically hunting his butt down, trying to kill him. And you could either do that or let him live, depending on what you chose. But this is his story, and... I don't really know what to expect. I guess you're gonna learn about what either caused him to kill her or about his life or a story after he killed her. It's gonna be great. Whatever it is, it's gonna be great. And I can't wait to see what happens at the end because the end of his story is Corvo defeats him. In my game, I decided since Corvo and Dowd were sort of mirrors of each other and they both, both had the outsider's gift that Corvo would let him live and be like the kinder, gentler, version of, of what the outsider bestows upon humanity and Dow was like I don't believe it like that kind of cool stuff and um, I want to see what happens I'm really curious about this I'm very excited I hope you are too let's delve into this thing okay I have veteran <laughs> novice so I guess veterans normal and then elite yeah elite I am not but I'm a vet. Let's go. Sure. All right. You can't forget what you've done. Killing the Empress and handing her daughter Emily to the Lord Regent haunts you. Oh. Okay. One more job shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the high-born blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built. No! Get away from her! Corvo! Mommy! God, that was awesome seeing from the other side. Also, it explains a lot about Dowd and that conversation he has with Corvo right before their final battle. Well, I recognize this place. Go to see the outsider. You. Yep. All right, but first, I saw something back here during that intro. I think there's a letter. E well, apparently, I've killed her. This actually brings up a really cool point that I was thinking about before. This area, you notice, is, is even though it's the outsider's domain, it's different. Oh, shit. The power of blink. Move rapidly from you. Okay. Time will freeze if you stop moving while you aim, even mid-jump. Oh. Oh, that's actually really useful then. Like changing direction mid-air? Say what? Oh, I gotta test that out. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, all these areas seem different and seem to reflect sort of the path this person's gonna go on, the character you're playing. So I feel like, you know, that note and all of it, it means maybe this is in the character's brain or, or I don't know, subconscious or something rather than in another dimension. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it just what's put here is from the consciousness and this is another dimension. Look, look, don't think about it. It's confusing. <laughs> all right, so we do this. I wanna try this and then, oh, oh never mind. All right, so I don't think I have the power to do that yet. I don't know. Let's see. All right. And then go like this. All right. Let it go up a bit. I've got to try this mid-directional like. That didn't do anything. All right. Oh, wait. So sometimes, sometimes. Oh, so I have to be like falling. Oh, oh. God, that's going to be interesting to use later on. Okay. So probably when I use it, I can go up in the air, like, I don't know, like that. Let's try it. Shit. 
Why not? And then... Or, or it didn't let me do it. Okay, whatever. Better let me do it later or else we got problems. Alright. Hello, outsider. Dowd, my old friend. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing oh. my mark? Interesting. I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. I like a good mystery. Bundry Rothwild is a ruthless businessman who owns a slaughterhouse and a fleet of whaling ships, including a ship named the Delilah. Well, it's not a mystery. It's it's a ship. All right, infiltrate the Rothwild slaughterhouse. Okay, great. You know what I was... That's really interesting he mentioned there are eight others, because I assume that took place immediately after killing her, which means, what, before Corvo, which I guess would make him ten? There's... Dowd, Corvo, and then eight others? Which means there's plenty of stories in the world to tell. <sighs> Sequels. I want them so badly. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? She, she was a boat. Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. That hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse, and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. Interesting. As Dowd, you can use your network of spies and corrupt merchants to purchase equipment and upgrades. <gasps> oh my. You can also pay for special favors. These favors have a variety of effects in the mission, such as granting access to equipment caches or revealing secret information. Um, that is awesome. Guess if you're gonna be a badass assassin spy, you're probably gonna get all those things, right? Oh, okay, so... These are things I can upgrade. I have a wrist bow? Freaking awesome. So I don't have a crossbow, I just have like a badass wrist bow. That's pretty sweet. I have a feeling I'm not gonna care about sleep darts during this one. I, I, it really, it's really not gonna bother me that much. Murdering people. All right. Safe code. Go to the shipping office and we'll etch it on the wall. A bribed laborer will misplace a rune he found in a crate full of old scrimshaw bound for the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Dude, these are awesome. Bribe will disconnect the security on the refinery valves. Using the valves will not sound the alarm. Okay, do these work every time? Like, I guess it does, yes. Yes! Yes! All of those things! Alright. Mmm. Rispo range? Uh, sure. Yes. Then, I, I see bone charm. Bone charm's good, but I don't have any bone charms yet, so... What's the point of maxing it to six if I don't even have four? Um... Combat sleep dart. Darts are effective uh, uh, even in combat. Mm, that's nice. But, hmm, all right, let's do Rispo Accuracy, sure, why not, and then we'll leave it at that, I'll keep the money and we'll see what happens, actually, what do I have, 
Uh, let's do like two rewire tools. All right, cool. Continuing on, yes. Yeah, Jay. As a result of your bribe, the alarm system has been disabled and there will be no alert if you begin turning on pressure valves. Ooh, nice, okay. I assume find a combination written on the wall, nice. All the objectives, all the objectives. All right, Jay again. All right, so my tasks include get in the slaughterhouse, loot the officer's safe, and find that rune. Find that rune. All right, what are my abilities? One is my wrist thing, which looks awesome. Two is a grenade, which I don't have any. That's my sleeper wrist. That is my explosive wrist. I don't have any of that. That is, what the hell is this? Is that a gas grenade? All right. To see in the dark, help locate bone charms and runes. This power equip the mark of the outsider. Okay, great. Level two lets you see. Okay, wonderful. So this is going to be like the other one. Oh, except they it's not sepia tone now. It's its black and white tone. What, whatever. I guess that's a little less annoying on the eyes of you watching, but considering I can't see through walls yet, it is utterly useless. So you are spared for the moment. Uh... Okay, and that's my blink. All right, let's, let's let's change some stuff up because that is gonna get super duper annoying for me. Um, well, I guess I can't change it because I don't have an eight, nine, or ten. Unless I make that eight. All right, good. And then, yeah. All right, good. Just like it's, I'm trying to make it like my previous. Like my previous incarnation as Corvo, so I don't. I, I'm pre programmed for certain. You know how it is. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. I'm okay with One that. Last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. Oh, awesome. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. One of six. It begins again. All right. Although, how do I find them exactly? I don't have a heart, so that might be a problem. Workers in the Rothwild Slaughterhouse have rebelled. Yeah, okay. How do I use that to my advantage? Hmm. Powers. Void gaze. See in the dark. See locations of the bone shark. Oh! Oh, that's why I can't see through anything very well, because with Corvo, I had the heart. This makes up for that. But it also decreases my ability to, like, find loot. Well, you guys have lucked out. All right, and then there's Blink, which I have. Can't upgrade that anymore. Summon Assassin. Oh my. Oh my. I feel I feel like I should save that for level two. Just save up for level two, because having a novice assassin with you seems kind of like a pain in the ass. Like, I don't, what do I know? I don't know how to kill. That's my novice assassin voice. Bend time. Yeah, that's very useful. But I can't get it yet. Vitality, that's nice. Bloodthirsty. Build up adrenaline and trigger brutal melee. Oh, shit. I like that. Agility. Jump. That's probably very useful, especially reduce fall damage. If they don't see me, they turn to ash as they die. Dude. That would be helpful. And then there's Arcane Bond. Which I share the powers with my allies, with my assassin allies. Oh, so that's how they're able to do everything. Okay, makes sense. So, what do I put this point into? God, shadow kill seems awesome. But for now, let's go agility. Yeah. All right, I can jump higher and not die while falling. All of those are good things. Great. Go on. Oh, God. Get off the property, or we'll lock you up too. 
You have to give me back my time card. I can't get back in. You had no right to take it. Try and get past me, and I'll see you swinging from a meat hook. Go home, mister. That's how you break Boy, up a strike. Confiscate those cards. No exceptions. I hope you die weeping. All of you. I hope the plague gets you. There's a plague going on, wiping out the city, and all this guy wants to do is work. Some asshole employees right there. Now, how do I use that guy? Okay, let's, uh... Seven up. Whoop! Go down. We'll just drop, like so, and... Let's see what he has to say. Pass me by. All the others, down with the sickness. Down with the sickness! Talk to me, bro. Oh, he can! <clears throat> e. It's no use asking me anything. They've got my time card. I can't even get in to pick up my things. Anyone who knows anything's locked up down by the docks. I should have been with him. Hmm, so... Whoa! Get... Don't hurt me, mister. I'm not gonna hurt you, I just wanted to talk! Now I gotta get down by the docks. Great. Advertise like shameless whores.